I am making some parts, some obsolete parts that were probably made 1950. These go into an electric arc furnace. They're used to clamp the electrodes in a, in a very large copper holder. And when I'm talking about electrodes, this is 12 inch electrodes. We'll pull, we'll pull in 20,000 amps of current through those electrodes wow. at 240 volt. Man. So they, this is basically, I still got, there's three other pieces that go with the assembly, but uh, this is a, is what's called the clamping shoe that goes inside of that electrode holder. This is what actually hits the, the graphite electrode. Okay. And this piece has to be electric non-conductive. Yep. So we get we got mica insulation yeah, going yeah, through yeah. here, Jeez, right. and that's what kind of makes this part kind of a little bit difficult. And I'm working off of parts that are melted and uh, no drawings, so I have to build my own drawings. <laughs> reverse so engineer, reverse engineer, and uh, you know it's got a little complex geometry inside. I mean, not complex, but it's yeah. All these parts made on with <clears throat> central air control. Now, after the uh, the centroid control, you can. I'd rather do mill work all day long. You know, it just it's fun. It's fun. It's you know, it's it's enjoy. The type of stuff I do is is so uh, unique. You know, I don't make the same thing over and over and over. And it's kind of it's. I it like more it makes it more interesting. I lo I've, I've never had a job yet that I really say I can't do. I may say I can't do the job. It's just too big for me. But yeah. I'll take on just about anything. You know. Now, I imagine having the tool changer as opposed to the little knee mills that you had makes it a, a lot easier for doing oh, changing no, stuff out. Oh, no question about that. I mean, you know, what setup I have over here where I can use the uh, touch-off probe setting tools, it's a piece of cake. You know, it, it's, it's so easy to do.